Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad down here in the Dirty Dirty, doing some late night, early morning grinding. It's, I don't even know what time in the morning it is. I'm just trying to get it all done um, so I can try to get me a couple of winks, but uh, pushing these Christmas orders out. But uh, still, in the meantime, doing these videos for you guys as well as for myself to, uh, I thought it would be a a great time to go over small tool backgrounding or backgrounding small tools for backgrounding uh i just today I'm, i mean this week i'm just so proud of myself anyway because i finally completed and done my very own my first sheridan art drawing uh went down to roanoke alabama uh, and was taking some classes by from a lady named Dee. Dee uh, Lawson, beautiful, beautiful, tremendous, very talented lady, and she hasn't even been doing the business as long as I have, but she's very talented, I mean, and can, man, she can draw the right, I mean, she can draw anything, but uh, anyway, drove down to Roanoke, took some classes, and uh, I encourage you guys, if you really want to expand your business, expand your artwork, go further and farther than you've ever gone before. Take the classes. Take the classes. I don't care how many school you think they, are, they may be. Take the classes. Um, and even, like I said, be able to recognize talent. Because when I first saw Dee Dee's artwork, I was just like, I thought she had been crafting for like years. I was getting ready to go meet some older lady. And she's like, man, she got to be in her 30s. But anywho, uh, I've been, I couldn't even draw four, three months, three, four months ago, I couldn't even draw a stick, man. But now, after taking Dee Dee's class, we're now, I'm now able to start doing my own Sheridan design. And this is going on to a long wallet that I'm designing now. And I'm very proud of this piece. Very proud of this piece. But that's not really what I want to get you guys to see. As you can see, I've already prepped up my back duct tape to keep my, cut my pattern a little bit longer. So, I told you guys it's early in the morning. Um, but I told you, uh, cut your piece a little bit longer, got it prepped so it doesn't stretch or walk on me because we're going to be doing some deep beveling and some deep, uh, not just beveling, but I'm going to be doing some backgrounding work inside of the Sheridan here. But the thing what I wanted you guys to see is the small tools, invest in you some small backgrounding tools. Not just small backgrounding tools, but also small bevelers. You're going to need these small bevelers and small backgrounding tools. As you can see, is when you're getting up in between the petals here, backgrounding work. Small backgrounder. It'll fit. It'll get down there. And I like the pear shaped ones. Uh, maybe if you guys can see that, that, uh, where it has a rounded end on the back and a pointed end on the top. That's so it can get up in between, like right down in here where it angles into the, right there, that point. And then you can really get up in there to really get your background and then detailing work. Even in the small sections, not just around the leaves, but right in here of the scrolls, you can get in there. And the points will help you. Even, you can even have a pointed uh, background of this way to really get down into the points in the uh, of your artwork. Now, the one thing to note is that I even, although I do have larger backgrounders, but these here are... Primarily, and I do have uh, the pear-shaped large backgrounders, so this tool and this tool will work in conjunction with each other on large pieces. But when you're really going to get off into the decorative, you want to go with your small. Your small. And then I have this one, as well as my angled uh, 
beveler. It's a matted beveler, and actually the mat and the print matches these two. So I'll be using these two a lot. Uh, around my scrolls here, as you guys can see around my scrolls, I took my steep beveler because I really want these scrolls to pop. As you can see that, when it really get to your steep bevelers, you really want your, your scrolls to pop and they'll come out real good. So I would recommend you get a very steep one. Now, Barry King has the steepest bevelers, I've smooth bevelers I've ever seen in the business. Now, there may be some more that's out there, but I do know Barry King has some very steep ones. Now, his tools are a lot more expensive than Tandy. Uh, you're looking at $40 for a steep beveler. But when I tell you it really, really makes your work stand out and pop, you guys can see that. Really make your tools stand out and pop. So if you can afford it, you know, the best time of the year, Tanya just had all of their tools marked down for $2.99, which is the best time of year to buy a lot of tools. But when you really getting off into your good pieces or you really especially when you really start to turn your your craft into an entrepreneurial uh venue or avenue or if you really trying to make some major money in in this in this culture um you really want to invest in you some great tools but hey uh you guys stay tuned uh, I'll have some photos of the finished piece uh, to really to illustrate the background and the work in the comments below. Thank you all for those who have subscribed and joined on to, to the to the group or uh, to YouTube and to my other pages uh, who sent uh, like the likes. Thank you for liking my product. Thank you for liking uh, the videos and what if you guys like what I'm doing. I'll try to keep it rolling as long as I can do this thing. But, hey, this is the Leather Cowboy. I'm going to try to wrap up a few little more, t uh, probably about another hour or two of background, and then, then I'm going to take it in. So, uh, but, hey, you guys practice, practice, practice. And you guys see, look, three, three, three months ago, couldn't draw a stick, man. I was using other artwork, others' artwork. Now I can really start it pushing, and, and this is not even really complete or close to perfection. This is just the first one after four months that I'm proud of, and I really just went out there and put it on a piece of leather. Maybe one day I'll do another video and show you guys my art books about, and you can see how far I've come from from four months ago to, to today. And it's, I'm still not there yet. But as, as as always, it's just like Didi tell me, practice, draw, draw, draw every day. Draw every day. Practice every day. Practice on scrap. Before you jump out there in that water and really start just trying to sell stuff, separate yourself from the flea market hobbyists and, and separate yourself from that. So grind on your craft every day. Try to improve something every day with your craft and guarantee you will get there to where you can start commanding the high dollars and, and the big money for your pieces and your product. Hey, this is Robert the Leather Cowboy right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the dirty, dirty down south. Sleepy is 34 degrees. See y'all guys on the other side. Peace.